I don't know where they went. Okay, we are leaving our Airbnb and today we're going to Canosos Palace, the home of the ancient civilization, the Minoans. They were here even before the ancient Greeks. Let's go check it out. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hey, hey. Hello. How are you? Kalimera. You are Dustin? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we, we like very much people from Minoan. Because you, uh, your government helped us, uh, my country, a lot of times. From a lot of tourists from USA. I don't know why. Because of Instagram. It's very important for a, for a tourist to come here in Crete, feel how every uh, Crete man lives. Some tourist uh, likes only to, to go to the hotel, to the beach, beach, hotel, hotel, beach, only this. Nothing. For me, it's very important to, to feel, to, to taste the food, yes. the real food. Yes. Not the food in the hotel, the real food. Uh, olive oil, to, to smell it. The real oil, olive oil, to smell it, to taste it. It's very, it's very interesting. Thank you, lady. Merci. Merci. So this is three, two more, two more five, right? Five star service. Thank you. Four euros. I tell you, four euros for each. Four fifty cell. We came for five twenty. Three, three. That's it. Three. No, I think you say three euros. Come on, you don't do that. Please, please. Thank you. And I give you free plan. Wait a moment. One more, one more, one more. Uh, sir, give me one more. I give you something you need. You, how do you visit inside? Take this plan, the palace, at the no, best. That's free anyway. You live in the United States. You have dollars. Okay, there. Hey, come on. One more. One more. Next, when you come out, you want to come out. When you come out, Villa, Pamel. Thank you, thank you. So we tried to get the juices for a cheaper price. He's charging four fifty euros for one of these which is very expensive in greece clearly we're in a tourist area so we said well we want a lower price what can we do and he says well where are you from that's the first question he asked so you never say the u.s or some rich country because then they're just going to keep the price up you say a uh, different country so we said iran so we said iran and he lowered the price for us he said you have he said oh you're from america you have dollars and i'm like no 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 have reached Konosos here in Crete. It's home of the Minoan civilization that was here about 6,000 years ago. Yes, that's way before even the ancient Greeks were here. So this Minoan civilization was discovered in 1878 by a Cretan archaeologist and he had studied the works, workings of Homer, the Iliad, and he thought that probably this civilization might be buried in this area, so he started excavating and sure enough he found it. When it was first discovered, Crete was still under the rule of the Ottoman Empire. So these areas here were for storing grains, they think, or it was like a giant trash bin back during the Minoan time period. So here you have traditional Minoan outfits. This is what they would wear. There's also jewelry was very prominent here. So down here below, there that's where they stored their olive oil and things like that, their different goods. And they think this palace was destroyed because there was an earthquake that happened and the oils mixed in with the torches that were down there, which caused a great fire. That's what destroyed the Minoan palace. In those huge vases, they would store um, olive oil, grains, 
This is a replica of what it actually used to look like. This is the sewer system that they had. This was all covered up. Another fascinating aspect of the Minoan society was that they were actually a matriarchal society, meaning that they worshiped a goddess, Mother Earth, and they had priestesses that were in charge of leading the processions to worship Mother Earth. This replica shows uh, a rite of passage that was um, done here by the Minoans, where the young man would have to somersault over the bull and land uh, next to the priestess. This was a rite of passage for all males and females here. But what did the snake symbolize? Eternity. Eternity. There's a very famous myth that originates here in uh, this palace because of its structure. There was a lot of hallways, a lot of corridors. So the myth goes that um, there was a minotaur, half bull, half man, and he was so hideous and so horrific, so horrendous, that they created this labyrinth to hide him in its uh, interior. And in order to keep, keep him inside and peaceful, sort of, they would bring uh, seven young men and seven virgin women uh, to feed this uh, horrific beast, this minotaur. Um, eventually, people got tired of being um, victims of, of this uh, system that they had in place. So finally, Theseus, a prince from Athens, came um, and he was guided to go inside the labyrinth and finally kill the hideous, the horrendous uh, minotaur. The minotaur originated because the wife of King Milos uh, was cursed and she had a sexual desire for a bull, for a very beautiful white bull. So she actually had um, someone build a figure, a form of a cow. She went inside that figure, that form, that shape, and she actually had sex with this bull and they had a baby that was half bull, half human. And because it was so hideous and King Minos was so disappointed and so uh, disgusted, and he actually had this labyrinth constructed to hide this hideous baby away. The stone structure here represents the horns of the bull because it was so important to the Minoan society. And this is the queen's corridor here. They call it the queen's apartment, but uh, it's basically where she lived. Maybe she was just renting it, that's why they call it the apartment. Um, when they found this place, they found um, the first, what is believed to be the first flushing toilet of Europe, and they also found a bathtub. So they believe that this was the chamber of the queen. The pictures that you see behind are all replicas. Around the palace, you will also see some stones that have black, um, kind of like that. And that's because there was a fire that actually burned down the palace. the oldest theaters in the world, probably the second oldest, that belong to the Minoan culture. Uh, you can see behind the steps where people would stand or sit. And then in the square right behind me was dedicated for the royal family. This is where they would sit and enjoy uh, the performance. Apparently there was no drama, there were no um, actual acting that belonged more for like the Greek culture, but they did have uh, performances for dance and singing and religious ceremonies that people would observe from uh, these stands. We're about to enter what is considered to be Europe's first throne room. It belonged to the Mycenaean King Minos. King Minos, he's believed to be the one sitting in this throne. Let's check it out. The throne is in the back and in the wall you can see paintings of a mythological creature that actually blends three animals. The head of the animal back there would be an eagle to represent the sky. 
The body itself would be a lion, and then the tail is a snake. So that would represent heaven, earth, and under earth, the underworld. I visit ruins such as the Minoan Palace. You know, it reminds me how how society comes to an end. Um, sometimes so shortly and abruptly, you know, like they had a big earthquake that led to a massive fire, destroyed this beautiful palace. So it's very interesting to see how such a powerful kingdom, a very advanced society came to an end in a minute, you know, and I think we have to remember that, be grateful for what we have. Um, you never know how we're gonna come to an end, right? So, you know, it's very powerful to see the remains of such an ancient society.